as a ward officer, there are some duties you have to, to undergo. And these are my duties. Duties of a ward executive officer is coordinate and supervise all activities within the ward in terms of education issues, health issues, to maintain peace and security of the ward. Uh, revenue collection is one of my duties. And emergencies, if it occurs some emergencies like floods, like eruption or outbreak of diseases like cholera, malaria, diarrhea, or vomiting, we are responsible for that and other, and other duties we are, we are doing. We are, we are facing with some problems, uh, challenges which we face in, in our working places, uh, like disasters, flooding, uh, eruption of disease, uh, solid waste, we have lack of drainage system, security problems, uh, we have lack of roads, water, and, and social services, and, and many more problems we are facing in our, in our communities. Floods, as you see, the rain comes, it rains, heavy rain, and some water blocked. And people cannot pass, cannot get out of their house because there is no way water can pass. Economic activities are affected much with, uh, with rain. Like, as you see, this is Tandale Market. Um, some economic activities cannot be undergone during the rain season because the, the, the place itself is, is vulnerable for flooding. It affects some economic activities of the people. This market is, is supplying a lot of grains in the people of Dar es Salaam. So uh, not people of Tandale also affected, but the people of Dar es Salaam uh, in general. What are the immediate measures we, 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 we take when it floods? We have to, to, to find the immediate measures, like to, to fill the sack with with sand and put it so people can pass. As you see, these are the immediate measures we are taking when, when, when it rains and when the floods come. Uh, people protect their walls through the, 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 the sack which are filled with sand, and we are trying to make a path for the people to, to meet the, the other destinations. What are the effects which are caused by these floods? As you see, people cannot pass to the other side because the, the bridges were, were, were washed away. Look at these houses. People were built caps in front of their doors. They are built uh, stairs, uh, long stairs in front of their door because the water overflows inside their house. Look at the, at the household. It is wet. What are the causes of these issues? Look, this is the road. It does not have the, the drainage system. So uh, to, to control water without drainage system is difficult and it affects some economic activities over there. Solid waste control is difficult in this area because, as we know, these are areas which are unplanned settlement. And we know unplanned settlement with uh, solid waste. These are twin brothers. You cannot separate them. So as we see, this was the road, but you cannot pass because of this solid waste. People throw it, the road, and the water comes, it stacks. Look at the, the, the bridge. It was, it's already broke because uh, the deepness of the river is, is, is up because people throw it uh, solid waste to the, to the rivers. Look at this. This is the, is the drainage. A lot of, a lot of uh, solid waste. Another thing uh, is um, unplanned settlement. It is difficult to control unplanned settlement in our areas without thinking of the map. So if you look, uh, as I told you that unplanned settlement and the solid waste, these are twin brothers, because you can find um, a ward of, of about um, 74,000 people in an area of uh, one square kilometer, and it is unplanned settlement. It is difficult to, con to manage and to, con to control the, the, the solid waste uh, to, to those people. And it is difficult for them to, to have uh, infrastructures like roads because the, the, the areas were not planned. What we do? Well, we, we, we call the public meeting, we identify the problem with them, we come together, we sit, we discuss, and we are putting the layout on how can we solve our problems because it is, it repeats year after year, year after year. So we want to put a layout there 
what to do because we don't want to see this again. Come up with a solution with the people of Raman Uria, and as you see the, the, the map, it is so precisely, uh, very understanding. Uh, now you can, you can see the, the faint blue is the area which is wet. So if even someone comes and wants to buy a land in our area, we can tell him that, no, don't buy the land in this area because it is wet. It's not, it's not good for you to, 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 to build a house here. You can see the, the number of roads. It is very, it is very, there are, there are very few compared to the number of people who are living in that area. There's no public water system there. So we, we, we sit together, we collaborate with the people of Ramani Uria, then we come out with these things. That's why it's called the community mapping. The communities and the experts are now discussing, they are putting the layout there, and we now put things in action to clean up our our areas. They participate themselves. This is a participatory way uh, because we go to them, we learn from them, we learn from them, and then we start where they are. That's why, as you look, they are drawing to see the magnitude of, which, uh, the, magnitude of the problem when the floods come. To wind up this, there are some questions we're asking ourselves. How do we know the magnitude of the problem without ever a map? How do you know the magnitude of these floods? You will never know. How do we plan to reduce diseases like cholera, like malaria? Because these places are a, a good place for incubation of mosquito. If you don't have a map, it is difficult. We ask again, how do we show the need of more drains and where? If you don't have a map, it is difficult to know this is a good place to put a drain and where? We also ask ourselves, how do we show the need of more infrastructures? As I told you, 74,000 people in a square kilometer, 12,000 household, without any map, it is difficult to plan. We need roads, we need water, we need social services. And in most of this area, the public water system is, is uh, is dismantled by people because it is totally congested. How do we build a smarter city to our resident? These are the challenges which we are facing in our working areas. There is a certain thing which says that an empty sack can never stand upright. How to, how, how to answer, how to give solution to this house? We come to realize that we need map. Those are the answers, those are the solutions to answer this house. We need map. So if we want to stand upright and keep forward, we need map in our community, we need map to plan, we need map to do all these things in order to make our places better. We need maps. Thank you very much.